Hey, this is Chris with Lennox with another quick video. And today we're going to talk about the Lennox RDS, which stands for Refrigerant Detection System. In today's discussion, we're going to cover the modes of operation involving the RDS system. For this demonstration, we have a trainer built by the Detroit FTCs. Um, in the middle of this trainer, we have, of course, the Lennox RDS control board. We have a Lennox L40 thermostat. Below the thermostat, we have the Lennox RDS refrigerant sensor. And then on the right side of the trainer, we have some LED lights that represent red for a heat demand, blue for a cooling demand, yellow for Y fan speed, green for a blower demand. And then on the bottom of the trainer, we have two LEDs specific to the zoning contact and an alarm contact. The first mode of operation we're going to discuss today is going to be initialization. Initialization is a mode of where the system will run a five minute pre purge, sampling air, making sure the system does not have a sign of refrigerant, and also making a good connection with that sensor. During initialization, you will see several keys to point you in that direction. The first being a green flashing LED on the RDS control itself. You also notice that the thermostat is completely blank. There is no power being delivered to the thermostat in initialization. The other thing you will notice during initialization is the high speed fan is operating and the zoning interlock is currently closed to allow this initialization to complete. Immediately following the initialization mode or five minute pre purge, the RDS system will then enter the monitoring mode. Monitoring or normal mode is going to allow inputs from the thermostat to pass freely through the RDS to the equipment, allowing both heating and cooling demands as needed. During monitoring, the refrigerant sensor, of course, is not detecting refrigerant allowing the system to operate as designed. The next mode or modes is going to be fault and service. Fault and service are very closely, closely related and they're both pointing out that there is a fault that was recognized by the control board. When you know that you're in the fault state, you're going to see a solid blue LED on the control followed by a sequence of red flashes. During a fault or service state, you will notice the system will still allow demands. In this example, we have a heating demand. We have an active fault, but you can see that we also still have a heat demand active, but we now have high speed fan that would run 24 seven. And you can also see at the bottom of this trainer, the zoning interlock is closed which would force all of our dampers open in that state. To decipher the error codes, we have a sequence of red flashes after the solid blue. You can either refer to the service manual of the RDS control, or it is located on the inside cover of the RDS itself. The last mode of operation is going to be mitigation. Mitigation mode is telling us that there was a leak event detected. The refrigerant detection sensor had sensed a high concentration of an A2L refrigerant and forces the system into a mitigation mode. Mitigation mode can be noticed by the flashing blue LED on the RDS control. During mitigation mode, power to the thermostat is lost, which means we can no longer send inputs and outputs through the RDS for active demands. During mitigation mode, we can also notice two things. One, we now are running a high speed fan. Why? Fan speed is operating, which is to help dilute that high concentration of the A2L refrigerant. And we're also going to notice at the bottom of this trainer, the zoning interlock contact is closed, which would force our dampers open in a zoned application. Mitigation mode will operate for a minimum of seven minutes. And after that seven minutes, 
If there still is refrigerant detected, the system will then enter another seven minute mitigation mode. If the refrigerant levels are below the threshold of the sensor after that first seven minutes, the system can resume normal operation, which would allow the thermostat then to send demand to the indoor and outdoor equipment. 